I was told my barrel was gonna arrive on the 10th and his barrel ain't here. I'm running low on stuff. All my stuff is in the barrel. Like, it should have been here. So, I had to make a phone call today and the barrel is now available, but I can't get it till Tuesday. So, when I'm there telling people, yeah, the barrel might get here quicker, I lied when I said six weeks. Nah, I weren't lying, because it definitely takes more than the six weeks that I anticipated. I was told for, it's been I don't know how long now. I want my barrel, I want my tanks. But the lady was lovely, even though she told me to slow down, car, you can't come today. I wanted to come today, I was ready for them. I wanted to come, as soon as she said I could get it, I was like, yes, yeah, so at what time? <laughs> Had to make an appointment for Tuesday. Are you coming to get your barrel? Blue Is this where you come to get your barrel? Barrel. No. Where'd you get the barrel? Um, they, they, they didn't give you that info. Do you know where CBS shipping would be? More likely, I think it would go to Kingston or... Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What day did I call them? Thursday. I don't know if this is the exit. But we're doing it anyway. I think I've ever driven to Kingston and it wasn't too bad I'm to come and get my barrel. The drive actually took about two hours. Then my dad said he knew where we was going and then we ended up at the container place. So we've come back. So now I'm at the barrel place. I'm going to first do one section, I think, and then I'll do the next section. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, but we shall see how it goes. They're called Chacon Fright. Rates, not fries, rates. You come from the first part of your barrel. It's not the easiest place to find if you don't know where you're going. But it wasn't too bad when you asked a couple people questions. Yeah, it's barrel day. I'm hot, yes. Sweating as usual already. Great times. Hello. Um, I'm here to pick up my barrel today. I think I spoke to somebody on Thursday. Coming from the room here. Yeah. Maybe and here and please. Um, you needed my bat and my TRM. One second. There you go. Right. Yeah, this is the Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Because under CBS shipping it says J Con Fright. So that's how I freight. freight. I don't know why I keep saying freight. That's how I associated um, CBS with them. So when I came in and asked the lady, she said yes. So I do TRM and then we'll see what happens next. Thank you. It's $5,500 to be paid here. Do you know roughly how much it is the other side? You got that little slip of paper from customs at the airport? No. Okay. That's going to frustrate me now. This is your receipt. You drive there or you have to walk there? This is just across the road. What do they do with the barrel after? Customs will examine. Is that a long process? I don't know. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't understand. Where are we going in here? My face is screw up right now because the man at the airport didn't give me a slip even though I did tell him I friggin was bringing a barrel in. I'm not impressed at all. Is it here? Greetings, John 
No, thank you. What do you need? My passport. Same as this. I think I've got one somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to go inside. Only I can go in? Yeah, down there. So what's this? I need to collect my barrel. Huh? I'm collecting my barrel. Just give you a barcode. A barcode. Thank you. Hi. Did you put on the mask? Yeah. 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 At a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a ten point, and there's only two people at it. Hey, it's still like one, two, three, four people in front of me. Kind of moving. Um, I'm really upset because I, I didn't get my strip, so we shall see how it goes when it comes to paying up at the front. Now there's currently one person in front of me. Oh, I feel like I've been in there forever. My back is hurting. I need to sit down. Oh, my back hurts. I was next in. <laughs> what else do you need? Why are they telling you how to do your job? I'm <laughs> confused. What does that mean? My container shipping number is wrong, so he now needs to go and check something. Nothing is straightforward. Why? I just wanted to, you know, in and out. Just in and out. You're calling my number. Do you need to call the office's number? What, across the road? I had to ring them four times before they answered. I was you in the media. Okay, thanks. I just need things to be straightforward. I don't need all of this. And I think the woman just had an attitude, so I'm not surprised if she's sabotaging me on purpose, if I'm totally honest. I've got to wait for him to, to get back. I've got to go back to the desk. Someone's with him now, because you didn't answer the phone when he was calling. Um, yeah, I'm, he can do it from here. He still has my paper, yes, because he said that he was waiting to speak to you to change it himself. So I don't have the paper, so I, he's got it. So if he calls you back, can you not give it to him over the phone? No, I don't know. Yes, this is my telephone number. All right, bye. They made the mistake and I have to go back. Why can't they come over here or give the man the code over the phone? I don't understand. What kind of backward stuff is this? The woman put the wrong container number on here. So now I've got to go back in there to get the right container number. She's going to irritate me. Send somebody over. You pass a gentleman again. I'm coming over. We've sent somebody over. No. I've got a walk here to be told they sent someone. They have my number. I'm sorry, made a mistake. Nothing. So sorry that they had it. Thank you. I don't know if you're meant to be polite right now. You one is in there. And you managed to make this big old error because what? You don't know numbers. It's not your job that you do every damn day. I'm just leaving for the moment. I can see my face. Oh, everything is so drastically annoying. Somehow, I think I've been there about an hour, maybe over an hour. Five thousand six hundred and fifty. Well, don't got paid it now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have cash. You'd have to withdraw the cash. Then. Well, where's the card? Where you got the machine? There's one outside. Oh, this place is killing me today, man. Like, really. Yeah. Did it work? Yay! And then I got to pay again when I go the other side now as well, isn't it? Yes. I don't have my yellow slip for when I come off the plane. Alright, we're after the first thing that we need to do. Yeah, I've got it on me. So I'm going over there now. Thanks. Oh, I've got a number on the phone. No one don't actually give you clear directions. I'm just going to security at the back. Thank you. Just getting this queue. 
Hold on. So, five, 11,000, has been my spend so far. That's about 11 grand. It's about 50, 60 pounds. Hello, I don't have my yellow slip for when I travelled. I don't feel the man gave it to me, but I did check it off when I um, declared it on the customs form. But I gave him the white slip. You know the white slip you check on the plane? Then he said, have you got a barrel? I said, yes, I have a barrel. But he didn't give me a slip. No, he didn't think, no I told him I had a barrel. So is there nothing that can happen here? That's annoying. The flight number. I can get my details up for you one second. So, it looks like my mistake was I didn't go through the red queue at the airport. I would have hoped if the man told me to do that because I've never done this before. So, I just left like a normal citizen. I did. I did it. I remember picking up my luggage and just leaving. <laughs> The immigration part. Well, something I know for the future. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't give me back my card, so I think that might have been why I thought I could just leave. So you can go along and get it I, I, I don't believe I spoke to customs, no. It'd be nice if I could get one though. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, so I'm going back this way now. Thank you. Please let her be able to do it. God be on my side. I need a discount. I spent 11 grand already. I don't even know what I spent 11 grand on. Just go and give me a number. And people don't know about queuing properly, they're just cutting. People queue goes from the left or it goes from the right. You can't go from both sides. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we're not going to be here for too long. I'm really hoping that she gets my ticket in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Pardon? What is the legal part? Why Joby? Good thing about Thank you. Thank you. Oh, are we good? I don't know. I thought I, I I follow a queue system. So if I see someone standing, it's a queue system. Found my barrel. There's a short person. I haven't said anything thus far. I was just here tapping, minding my own business. That's all I was doing. I'm sorry, now that I've emptied it all out, I'll have to put it all back in. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Why can't I just scan it? Do you know how hard it was to cut the barrel? Uh, no, I'm not eating, I don't. Of course it's not, that's why it's all there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I literally have to unpack the whole barrel that I just had. This is madness. Alright, not an eight bus though. Well done, D. Alright, I'm, I'm over like doing this now. I forgot I had these as well. Oh, I'm so excited for my flat. It's like so good. I look at certain things. I don't flap in Jamaica, but it's like a shed. I don't think I'm doing this again. I don't think I'm doing this again. It's on it, it's on it. Put that Thank you. So what do I do now? Thanks. What do I do now, sorry? Okay, thank you. I don't know what office I've got to go back to. Nobody's really clear on their instructions. It's just fine. Alright, so... I now know who the officer is. It's the lady that done my customs. She said I got OCD because she saw how I unpacked the barrel. <laughs> now I'm waiting for her to come over. I don't know if I pay again. I don't know what I've got to do. Just, I just want to go home at this point. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. 
Alright, I've got to come and pay for something now. Alright, so one five left to pay. So I've spent eleven thousand, twelve thousand, twelve almost thirteen grand to clear this barrel, which would be what in English money. I need to work that out. I need to work that out. I need to pay my card. Pardon? Savings. I'll just keep all my receipts. Where do I go now after? After. Another phone up one. Thank you. Hello. You need the other one. You need the other one. That one. That one. You get cut out, don't worry, I'm not talking. Okay. Fine. Say that again. Yeah. Okay, thank you. This place was long, this place was long. Go get the car, go get the car. So now I have to get the car and then go to some date. I don't know what he said. I really should listen more. I should listen a little bit more. I'm fine, my dad. Thank you. Get me out of this. I have my own car, thank you. Um, where's the blue gate? Back that way. So hold on, and it's a one-way road though. <laughs> so <laughs> right there. Oh, just this gate here. Wait. All right, thank you. All right. I've got to go to the blue gate, but she said just reverse down the road. It's just there. She told me to reverse. I can play it back for you to listen. Huh? Yeah. Want me to come out and guide you back? Um, Everybody's been reversing. So you've seen your stuff? Yeah, I'm doing it in slots. Okay, I'm hot again. I just had to go through the car park, give them my TRN and a piece of paper, then drive through a next gate, give her my TRN, a piece of paper, my number, and my driving license. And now I'm allowed to park at the bay. I'm going to get the seats down, and this barrel will be fitting. I'm honestly tired of being asked stupid questions. Uh, go back to the car. Yeah. I didn't have to walk all the way up the ramp. I literally could have just gone there and given her the blue slip. What the hell is wrong with people? Why are you taking that off? It's gonna fit in. Please tell me why my dad is so extra. Why is he being so extra? Extra your ass. Cut my barrel. That's the person put in my barrel. That's my barrel. <laughs> There's my barrel. Not that one, that one. Right. Yeah, it's in there. There's my barrel there. Yeah, that's it. I know what my barrel looks like. It's got a dent in it. I know who dented it. So that is the actual inside the wall. This way I had to go. Can't you go up a bit? Okay. Just up again. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Are they okay? Yeah. That's smart. My barrel has been dented. Yeah. Poor barrel's been abused. Abused? Yeah. Look all the dents in it. See, all of you that told me this wouldn't fit in the car. See? Don't doubt me. I know what's going to fit. Everybody knows it's now what the 20 I don't know I think it's the 27th today so it's 17 days late but it's finally here to get the barrel out of the car we literally had to rock um push now it's gonna have to lie it down we're gonna have to lie it you hold that thank you 
Hmm? No, there's all like food and stuff, so it should be fine. Watch it, watch Mind it. Your feet. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Are we not just going to roll it on the floor? Yeah. Lay it down and like, roll it. No? Okay. I would have just laid it down and gone... <laughs> That's what I would have done. Are you going to get out of the boot, Dad? It's raining. Patchy! Bye. So it's a day after collecting the barrel. I did start to rifle through it last night, but when I got home, we didn't have any electric, so because of the storm or whatever's been going on. So I'm gonna do it today. I feel like it's gonna take me forever. Right, this is wet, because this tissue is wet. This is, I'm packing the barrel. Do you know when you don't realise how much things you actually got in here? 